We are here in the Lower Pines Campground of Yosemite. Uh, you can see our flying uh, diamond, uh, our Big Agnes Flying Diamond 8 tent in the background here. We have been under constant uh, rain and snow in May, which is crazy, uh, for the last uh, you know, 48, 72 hours now. And this tent has just performed absolutely amazing. You can see here, there's just tons of, of water on the ground. There's pooling underneath the tent. I know not the best tent site uh, selection, but it's a great, uh, a great test of this tent for this review at least. Um, you know, there has been water underneath the tent for, for the entire uh, time um, and no, no water has gotten into the tent. It has just stayed absolutely dry. It's been absolutely amazing to see uh, how well this tent has performed. Um, so I'm gonna jump inside and show you a little bit more um, what I mean so you can see just how amazing this tent has performed. All right, so I'm inside the vestibule here. Um, you can see, let me turn it around here, just how, uh, how much water there is. I had to make some stepping stones here. Uh, to get underneath this tent here. So you can see here the vents in the rain fly uh, with the mesh there, which is great. Uh, and you can see here that we got some, uh, really no pooling um, on the outside of the vestibule. The water runs out, runs down really well. Uh, no, no leakage so far. Again, it's been under right around uh, 48 hours of constant rain, um, which is pretty amazing that we haven't seen any, uh, any leakage in the rain fly quite yet. All right, so let's take you inside here. Here, so this has been kind of where I've been sleeping at night because I snore and I don't want to keep everyone on the RV up. Um, but uh, we also use it for napping during the day. We were cooking inside and stuff uh, for families here. So this this is just water. Uh, you can just it feels like a water bed that I'm pushing on right here. And uh, the tent has just stayed completely dry, which is pretty amazing. Uh, right, same thing uh, over here. We have. Uh, a little bit of water underneath there, you can hear it kind of feels like a water bed still, uh, but still the tent is completely dry. There is a footprint under here as well, so that um, I'm sure helps with the waterproofing, but um, I've just been nothing but impressed. All right, so as you can hear, there's, there's some rain coming down, so I apologize if it's a little noisy, but I wanted to just kind of show you some features of the tent here that I love. That'll be quick um, since it's cold and rainy. So first feature is obviously the height here. I'm not super tall, maybe 5'8", um, and I can stand up just fine. Um, you know, I probably have an extra I don't know, two or three inches there uh, to stand up in the, uh, the main part of the body of the tent. Um, you can see behind me uh, there, the massive vestibule. It stays relatively dry as long as we're not a big puddle, uh, which we have uh, that problem right now. But again, that can be fixed with tent uh, site selection. Um, another great feature that I love, let me turn around again here, is this room divider. It is so great. Uh, you can see there we have a pack and play in there for nap time. Um, but uh, we use our, uh, we put our daughter back there sometimes without a pack and play, just a sleeping mat and her sleeping bag and she has uh, slept back there no problem. Um, you can see there's tons of storage. All of these things are just mesh storage compartments, which is so great uh, for a family a camping tent, especially when we're looking at uh, the weather like here and you're stuck in here. Uh, you know, we can put books and games and you know, without things getting uh, totally lost and a little bit more chaotic. Another great feature is the super steep walls. Uh, you know, you get lots of room from side to side as well, which is awesome. You also have a ton of this mesh up top here, which really helps ventilate and uh, manage condensation as much as possible while still uh, staying pretty warm. You know, the, the solid walls come up uh, to about, uh, I'd say five, just under five foot mark, which is great. And then, you know, the, the smaller end of the tent here is just a big mesh, uh, uh, there to let a lot of that condensation out um, and you know come on the uh, frame fly and roll all the way down which is great I just want to reiterate here you can probably see the the water here uh, and it's just this is literally it feels like a waterbed but the tent has stayed completely dry on the inside um, it's been like this for you know oh this is a huge puddle right here uh, again not the best tent site selection but uh, this is absolutely amazing how dry this tent has stayed, even though um, I'm pretty much in standing water. Um, I am in a cot in here, so it's not that big of a deal if some water gets in, but obviously you want your tent to be waterproof, and especially for a, a family tent, you know, last thing you want to do is have uh, waking up with kids that are soaking wet um, and, and cold uh, when it's raining out, and it's, you know, this is your, you're supposed to be your reprieve uh, from the elements. So, uh, nothing but good things to say about this tent yes it's a big tent yes it has a big footprint um, so it does make that tent uh, site selection a little bit more difficult but man 
for days like this when we're either stuck inside or we need it for a nap or we need it you know where i'm sleeping i want it to stay dry um so i don't keep everyone up with my snoring uh in the rv it's it's so great i uh, can't say enough great things about it and uh, if you're on the edge thinking about a uh a family camping tent that you need to be you know more than just a, a summer camping tent where you have some rain or you have some some nasty weather um, this is the perfect tent that we found so let me know if you have any questions in the comments or if you have any thoughts or things to add. Uh, you know, uh, there's so many great features. For us, this tent is just absolutely perfect. It has everything we need, has tons of space for our family, um, and you know, it has the weather protection we need for when we're out you know, on shoulder season or during winter. Um, you know, in places like Yosemite here, we have you know, crazy, um, uh, unpredictable weather. Um, it just has stood up to, those, to that weather so well. So if you're looking for a tent, uh, and you have similar needs that, that we do and you have the chance of some nasty weather, uh, this tent, I couldn't recommend it more.